Now, in this module, we will explore the crucial role that body language plays when it comes to building trust and inspiring others as a leader. And by mastering the art of nonverbal communication, you can establish strong connections, create a positive work environment, and motivate your team to excel. So how do you want to do this? Let's go over some practical tips. The first thing you want to do is we always want to have open and honest body language when communicating with others and when communicating our team. And here's our, our something that we want to keep in mind so that we can always uh, portray ourselves as someone who is open and honest. The first way, we mentioned this quite a few times, guys, and this is about maintaining eye contact because eye contact is a very powerful way to show others that you are genuinely interested and actively listening to what they have to say. So by holding this eye contact, you can demonstrate confidence and you can create a sense of connection. So it's very important to maintain this eye contact and just make this part of your everyday routine. So no matter which interaction you're in, you're able to do this. We also talked about the importance of having an open posture. So for example, keep in mind whenever you're sitting, whenever you're standing, you don't want to cross your arms. You want to relax your shoulders. You want to have an open posture, roll your shoulders back. So this sort of posture subconsciously invites others to trust you and engage in this open conversation. And again, mirroring is also a technique we talked about where no matter who you're talking to, you can actually just subtly reflect the body language of the person that you're speaking with, and you can establish this rapport and show empathy. And again, guys, as we've been over a few times, don't overdo this because it will come off in the wrong way. So here are some points that we've already gone over, but, um, Following these points will ensure that you have open and honest body language, which is a great way to build trust. The second thing I want to talk about, guys, is the power of touch. Because using touch uh, in the right scenario at the right time can actually establish a great connection and it can actually strengthen your relationships with others. For example, using a high five uh, or a firm handshake uh, or even like a gentle touch on the arm can really go a long way in showing empathy or uh, you know showing enthusiasm when it comes to your interactions. Now, touch can also be introduced or used to express the support and encouragement towards those around you. For example, a pat on the back for a job well done or a hand on the shoulder for someone who is you know, not feeling good or you wanna offer some reinsurance to them, that can actually go a long way as well when it comes to building trust. So while incorporating touch, you wanna to do it mindfully, you wanna do it respectfully, and again, you wanna select the right situations to do this. Uh, and if you do it, it can actually be a great tool to establish this trust and credibility. Now, to be a great leader, to inspire trust, you also need to express confidence and you need to express enthusiasm when you're talking to those around you. And how can you do that? Um, number one, when it comes to expressing confidence, use a confident stance. So for example, when you're standing, right, don't slouch, uh, don't sort of restrict your body, have a confident stance with your feet, um, shoulder width apart, right, uh, with uh, a good posture where you're not slouching, and even just having a confident stance like this can already inspire confidence within your team. Now, when you're talking to somebody in your team, use your gestures in an animated way, right? Use some expressive hand gestures to really inspire others to rally behind your vision. So if you look in the second photo, we have one example of this, uh, but you know, some gestures we can use are positive gestures like uh, the yes sign or, you know, pumping the fist or really using your hands to convey something to the other person. We don't want to overdo this, but obviously using gestures will help you uh, convey this enthusiasm. Now, facial expressions is also a great part of this because smiling, always maintaining a pleasant facial expression 
will help create a positive and relaxed atmosphere, which also encourages others to feel comfortable and engaged. So whenever you guys are, whenever you are around others, especially those within your team, mind your facial language because guys, your face does sometimes tell a story, the expressions you use consciously or unconsciously. So we do want to make a great effort to always try to have uh, positive facial expressions. And finally, guys, when we do want to uh, inspire trust, right, or when we actually do want to inspire confidence, uh, we should always try um, to practice active listening and validation. And how can we do this? Very simple tips and tricks that you guys can implement right away. The first thing, guys, is nodding and verbal affirmations. So when you're talking to someone and you see them nodding their head, you feel like they're listening, right? They show you that they're listening. What if you're talking to someone and you don't see any reaction from them? They're just looking at you, they're blinking. You kind of wonder, are they actually listening to, to me or are they you know, wandering off into space or in their own thoughts, really just pretending they're listening, but actually ignoring me? They might be listening to you, uh, but actually these uh, nodding or this verbal affirmations really helps reinforce the fact that, okay, I'm interested in what you're saying. I'm listening to you, please go on. Sometimes in addition to nodding, you can always use some verbal affirmations like um, adding in a, I see, or, oh, okay. Oh, okay, I understand. So these sort of verbal affirmations to show that you're actually listening and valuing the input of the other person. Another great tip you guys can use is to lean in. So whenever someone's talking to you, the next time you're having a conversation, try to lean in slightly. Uh, and by just doing this simple thing, you can actually indicate interest and attentiveness, uh, making the speaker uh, feel really heard and feel respected. So for example, guys, in a team meeting, a leader who is nodding along, who is using these verbal affirmations, uh, who is leaning in a bit, uh, by doing this as a leader, you will actually foster trust and you will actually go ahead and encourage open communication within the team. So overall guys, body language is a powerful tool for leaders to build trust within their team. And by being mindful of your nonverbal cues, such as your eye contact, your posture, by using touch in the right place at the right time, uh, by being mindful of having positive facial expressions, you can actually, over time, create an environment where your team feels valued, uh, where your team feels united, and your team feels trusted, um, and actually um, more inclined towards achieving a common goal. And that's why your body language is so important. So I hope we can implement some of the practical things that we've talked about in this module to build trust with your team. I hope you enjoyed this module, guys. I'll see you in the next one.